My name is Akiv Goldman. I'm the director and founder of Goldman and Associates. Our firm has a primary focus on family law issues here in Michigan. And today we're going to continue our video series designed to educate and inform the public. So please subscribe to our channel. You know, there are certain protections that are inherent in the divorce process. Certain protections that come through in any given divorce. You know, one person has a right to a parent the child. The other person has a right to co-parent the child. Both parties have a right to have visitation. Both parties have a right to an equitable division of assets. That's, these are protections that are written into our divorce law. The question becomes whether or not those safeguards go through every divorce irrespective of the nature of the relationship. We know in a standard relationship, a husband has certain, wife has certain protections. Wife doesn't have a better chance at custody any more so than husband does. That's why whenever you see the, the personification of justice, it's usually someone holding a scale, right? and a balance, and there's a blindfold on. What's the blindfold for? Well, the answer is because you're, you're, we're not taking into account is this mom or is this dad. We don't take biases into account. We're blind to the biases. Lady Justice always does things without the biases. That, that's the goal anyway. I want to tell you though that those legal protections that exist in the and that have existed in, in standard relationships are the same in same-sex relationships. That is, both parties have the opportunity to pursue a fair settlement of the property. Both parties have an opportunity to pursue custody yeah, and both are entitled to a hearing to determine is it the best interest of the child to stay with one parent or another same sex notwithstanding so in these situations the the safeguards and the protections of the law that were in traditional marriages continue on with respect to non-traditional marriages so and the only time the court is going to make any kind of deviation from that is if the court feels that somehow the child's best interests aren't being served one way or another. But you know what? Even that is a protection because if the court feels that the child's best interests are not served by being with this person because of problems A, B, C, and D, so therefore the court will give the custody to the other person, the same would be true if it was husband and wife. The court always has to reflect upon what helps out the child. And that is the focus irrespective of whether it's a same-sex marriage or not. If you have any questions about that, reach out and we'll be glad to help you out.